so here's the main fridge. Uh, mine did come with two little black um, paint spots missing little chips in it, which isn't a big deal to me. And it says Uber Chill on the front. It has a nice handle that you just pull out to open. Um, the shelf you can take out, um, which I like. I personally keep it out. Um, you gotta make sure you're sticking it in there the right way. Gotta make sure it's perfectly lined up. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you can hear it running or not. Um, it's not super loud. Um, I sleep with it on at night and it doesn't bother me at all. You can't, I can't hear it at all. Um, it's got a nice little carry handle on the top. As you can see, it is really lightweight. Um, one finger, I'm able to pick it up, so it's very light. Um, it comes with a cigarette lighter, um, plug-in, power cord, so you can plug it up in the car. It comes with a wall outlet, um, AC cord. Um, I really think it's pretty neat that you can plug it up in your car. Um, for people who maybe work outside during the day, I don't want to keep cold soft drinks in here. You can fit six cans of Coke in there, or um, four 16.9 flow ounce bottles of water, which is 500 milliliters. Um, you steam them up and push them straight back in there. You gotta make sure they're stood straight so you can get them back. Um, you see I got two in there and then I got space for two more, so that'll be four. Um, I was a little worried that it wouldn't get too cold because by other reviews it seemed like people didn't think it got cold. Um, the one I got gets really cold. Um, it's even got a function that keeps it hot. Um, you can see hot all the cold. When it's switched to cold, that green light will be lit up. When it's switched to hot, that'll be red. Um, you do want to turn this off for one hour every 48 hours. Which is kind of a pain trying to remember, hey, every 48 hours I need to shut this off. Um, but it isn't too bad. Um, they just said it needs an hour break after every 48 hours. So, um, you do want to make sure you keep the span clear. You don't want anything stuck in there. I don't push it up against the wall because I want to give that um, fancy space between the wall. Um, so I just leave like a couple inches between the fridge and the wall. But it is a really nice fridge. 